welcome, welcome, welcome to the Spice of Life Variety Show. We certainly do count it an honor and a privilege to be before you, and we just pray that your week has been quite well. Mm -hmm. We encourage you to grab your pen and your paper and copy down our contact number, which will be shown to you at the very end. We look forward to hearing from you, your prayer requests, your comment, because you are a very, very special person. We do bring you holy greetings from the West Angeles Church of God in Christ, where Bishop Charles E. Blake and Mrs. May L. Blake are uh, our leaders. We praise God for you and just welcome to the show, to the Spice of Life Variety Show. Well, I certainly have my dear, dear, dear co-host, dear friend, dear sister with me here in the person of Evangelist Pamela Webb. How you doing, Pamela? I'm great. How are you doing, Dr. Lewis? Just lovely. And yeah. you look very nice. And I so like you. that color combination and those earrings. Girl, what can I say? Ooh, I'm just trying to keep up with you. That's our girl. I'm just trying to keep up with you. <laughs> What's going on today? Well, we won't prolong because we have some very special guests I today. should say. Very special. <laughs> We're going to discuss 50 years of marriage. Wait a minute. Is there such thing as 50 Five, years? Five, zero. Is there such a thing as five years of, 50 years of marriage? <laughs> We're going to hear about it right now. Lord. 50 years. Okay, okay. 50 years. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, we have some very, very, very special, very, very special guests <laughs> on the show today uh, in the person, persons of my uh, parents. Uh, Dallas and Martha Amos, all the way from Camden, Arkansas, who will be sharing with us about 50 years of marriage. Yeah, yeah. Yes. 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 Celebrate. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. Exactly. So Dallas Amos and Martha Amos. And then we also have my sister on, on stage with us, uh, LaRonda yes. Amos. She has an right. experience 50 years of marriage. No, no. Not, not quite. Not quite. quite. So the three of us are here to sit at your feet to hear how do you maintain 50, 50 years of marriage. So welcome to the show, both of us. Thank, thank you. Thank thank you. Thank you. Very much. Rhonda is a producer too. Uh, just how long have you known one another? You've been married for 50 years, but how long have you known each other? Uh, approximately 52 years. 52 years. Yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. So that means that two years uh, mm -hmm. made them decide that they could live for they can live together. 50 years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> how did you meet? Mm -hmm. uh, we met at church. Oh, that's a good foundation. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, what about at church? I mean, what was going on at church? Uh, well, actually, I had been away from our small hometown, and it uh, goes to show you that God <laughs> will give you your mate. Wow. Because I grew up there, went away, stayed for oh, several months, came back, and he was sitting in church, hmm. the little church that I attended. <laughs> when I walked in, and sat down, and looked across the aisle. I knew I'd met my mate. Right? Seriously? First time. First time. First time. Yes. I knew wow. That. They've told now, us that before. Yes. Now, you, now, 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 you grew up there. I grew up in that town. But you didn't grow up there. I did no. Not. no, I did not. Oh. So how long, how long had you moved to that town before you met mm, your wife? Approximately six months. Really? Mm -hmm. So how did you come oh. to that place? <laughs> well, we, we lived... Um, a hundred miles south of Camden. Okay. And my mother had an aunt that lived there. Okay. And my father passed, and we felt it was best that oh, we would move. So with we family. left. We left there and moved to where my mother's sister was living. Oh, okay. Wasn't well, that, that six months later? It is. Wow. It is. It is. The providence of God, how God yes. just right. kind of hooked things up. He worked, yes. He, he, worked mm -hmm. it, he put it together. He really did. Mm -hmm. He really did. Because um, I had never met him before. We had never met. Of course, I dated plenty of guys. <laughs> yeah. And then I go away and come back, and he has set that right there. In the midst of me. Yeah. You looked across the aisle and, and knew that was going to be your mate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did. I told my sister when we left church, I'm going to marry him someday. What? And then you told your sister. Wow. I know. You hear about those kind of stories. You know, I know when it was right there in your home. That's it true. can happen. It can happen. It doesn't always, but it can happen. Well, the foundation is there. Okay, now that was your reaction. Uh, what about your reaction, Mr. Amos? What was your reaction to her? Well, you didn't even notice her, huh? <laughs> I don't think it did. Yes, it had to sure, go on here. Sure, sure. You know, uh, we met in church. And at that time, I was working at a furniture store and my wife was working down the streets and she used to 
Pass. She would walk home. Oh, pass. Walk and I, I, I would always make it a point that I, be I, right would, be out, I would be out in the front. Wait to do it, huh? Hello, oh, good. Good. I'm good. fair. Good. Good. And then after that, we were, the the uh, initial meeting was at the Malco Theater. Oh, okay. The first date. The first date. That's the movie. That was the movie date. theater? The movie theater. Oh, okay. That was our first date at the Malco Theater. Okay. And from then until now, it's been on. It's been on. It's been on. It's been It's been on. 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 It's It's been a wonderful relationship. Oh my goodness! It's beautiful, beautiful. Miss mm. Pamela, you better jump in. So what are these fifty questions. years? <laughs> what has been the joy, the greatest joy in your marriage? These fifty. Uh, actually, there have been so many joys, and um, I want to say first that I thank God for the fifty years. 50 and years. there are lots of people who have gone beyond, mm -hmm. uh, and so many who have not come that far. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I think my greatest joy. Um, that God has given me the the husband, the children, and their children. Mm, that has uh -huh. been a deep satisfaction <laughs> wow. in my heart oh, during yeah. these fifty years. Oh, wow. The greatest. Good. There's been many joys, mm -hmm. but those are the primaries. Mm -hmm. Now, you, how many children? Now we had we see two daughters. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, well, uh -huh. well, we all we had four <laughs> all together. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. We lost one when he was a baby. Uh, so we have a son back in Arkansas, and we have the two daughters. All right. And yes. that takes care of that. We have five wonderful grandsons. No grand. We have a great granddaughter. But mm -hmm. all sons. All sons. All sons. <laughs> okay. At this point. Wow. wow. Mm. Uh, a, fr uh, a friend of ours just had um, her first grand uh, grandbaby, uh, the first girl in 41 years, and so maybe perhaps mm. maybe one of the grandchildren right. will give you a, yes, a, a great a, another grand. great yeah. granddaughter. <laughs> <Exactly>. Yes, <laughs> but you know I, I just praise God for my wife, and I, I the thing that I love about her most is her sincerity and her honesty, mm. and. She's a God-fearing woman. Uh -huh. Oh, how precious. <laughs> and, you know, what we do, we try to do what's pleasing to God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And for 50 years, it has worked. Wow. Yes. There, yes. Have, there have been difficulties, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but we always go back, and we go back to the Bible. Mm -hmm. And we are led. Mm -hmm by the direction of, of God. Mm -hmm. See, that's rich. Yes. There are, there are, were, there are were difficulties. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. But we know today that uh, marriages, they don't last. And uh, we know that what God put together, mm -hmm. then, then it should remain together. And therefore, and, and not to run, but we decided to work work, work mm -hmm. out mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and to let God come into our lives and work it out and it has been beautiful. But see that's key though what yeah. you said though right. mm -hmm. in that uh, you decide to allow God to help you to work it out. Because mm -hmm. it is a work, you know. It, yeah, it, it is. Step, you have you know, to work. You together, right. But then you have to work. He gives you that job, right. uh, the 8 to 5, but you have to that's go on that job and work. Right. Or you right. don't have the right. 8 to 5. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so, um, and like you said, it's, you know, it hasn't always been on the mountaintop. There have been some valley that's experiences true. also. That's but yeah. you've hung in there. That's true. Yeah, there yes. will definitely be down days, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. You just cannot... I, I, cannot go into marriage. Uh, anybody cannot go into marriage thinking it's going to forever be this this bed of roses without mm -hmm. the thorns. Right. It's not uh -huh. going to be, uh, mm -hmm. you know, it's going to be de it's thorns there. Nobody took them away. But you do have, uh, let the good times outweigh the bad times, you know, mm -hmm. when you put them on the scale of balance. Mm -hmm. And for my husband, uh, I appreciate what he said about me, and for him, I really love his gentleness. He's yes, gentle, he he's kind, <laughs> and very uh, concerned about every family uh -huh, member family. Uh -huh. and uh -huh. any underdog outside the family. Wow. <laughs> <Doesn't that? laughs> yes. Right now, I share him with two other widows in our hometown <laughs> because he's, oh. he takes care of them, you know. Once you become a widow, you, you that that you support yeah, is gone. Who do you depend on mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. So um, so he he takes care of anybody that's down and out mm -hmm. and under, mm -hmm. and he's really been a great 
husband. Mm. I give it to you, Daddy. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> one thing about it, we can certainly attest. Daughters, uh -huh. Yeah, we can, uh, as daughters, we can yes, attest we can. to the fact that Daddy is a giant of a man, <laughs> but, but but he's even a he's larger so, giant mm -hmm. uh, uh, of an individual, and mm -hmm. that he is the covering. You know, he mm -hmm. you know he, he, he really does cover, uh -huh. uh, and and it's such a privilege to have a father who who is so unique in his love and commitment to his family. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, it's mm -hmm. always he's he's always covered us, and so. Um, I can remember uh, when I was uh, uh, I was always fast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can Not you. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and I can remember uh, I almost got my dad in trouble. He got there almost about to grab this young guy who almost who had almost grabbed me because of my mouth. You know? And so, um, but I'm just saying he has been covering. Mm. Lorenda, you want to reflect on any of that? Oh yes, I I agree with you. First of all, it's, it's hard for me to find anyone in my generation that compares to Daddy. Wow, Daddy has, that's it. You know, yeah, right. Mm -hmm. hard. Yes, oh, it's hard. Oh, yes, so he did. Mm -hmm. He did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, man, but... <laughs> <it's hard. laughs> not but, yeah, mm -hmm. we have been blessed. Mm -hmm. You know, um, when I... When I my Friends meet up my parents. Mm -hmm. They adopt them. Everybody mm -hmm. adopts yes, them. Yes, yes, great people. Great yes. people. Yes. And even oh, even uh, your 50th wedding blessing. anniversary recently. Mm -hmm. When I tell people my parents have been married 50 years, they're in awe because there are not many people whose parents are still mm -hmm. happily That's together right. after mm -hmm. 50 years. That's right. We're truly blessed. Yes. Yes. It's a blessing. It's a blessing. And Mrs. Yes. Amos, you're like you uh, at least 50 years old. I'll tell you. Now listen. <laughs> 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 oh, I do appreciate that, but I, I am a little bit past 50. <laughs> <laughs> so how did your families react uh, when they first met met you? How did your family react, and how did your family react? First of all, you must say. Well, you you mean when 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 I when I introduced? Correct. My family loved her. Mm. They loved her. Okay, like really. I said, she was she's gentle, she's kind, she's educated, <laughs> she's my <laughs> personal secretary. <laughs> 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 she had a good she, she, and she, she, the relationship was was wonderful. Great, yes. it was that's wonderful. A, that's important too mm -hmm. from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, it has and been they wonderful. They have always respected her. Oh, that's great. Wow. And Daddy there should was mention no animosity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You should mention that you had a large family too. Yes, that's mm -hmm. true. You had about what five well, large brothers, families. Mm -hmm. yeah. a very large mm -hmm. family. Mm -hmm. To be accepted. Well, what, yes. mm -hmm. to be accepted. Want me to go through that, in, to go through that interview yes. process? Yes. Yes. That was that interview process. Yes. <laughs> yes. Wow. What about your family? Mm -hmm. Well, my family too uh, loved Dallas. In fact, my my dad was very discriminating when it came to <laughs> oh. his daughters. <laughs> of course. <laughs> and um, most of the the people that I had known, the guys I had known before that, he turned thumbs down. Mm -hmm. But then uh, when he <laughs> met Dallas, and Dallas came around a time or two, and he he told me. So, you know, I think he's all right. And all my family accepts him now. I mean, after 50 years, I mean, it's like they forget that he married into the exactly. family mm -hmm. like I married into his exactly. family. Yes. It's been like we've always been there. Mm -hmm. been oh, yes. And they do. They they respect him and they love him. I have a lot of nieces and nephews and actually they they cling to Dallas wow. quicker than they will me. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and I like it like that. <laughs> <laughs> because, because, you, you, because both of you have been around so long in each other's family that you are a family. That's true. You know, it's That's no longer son-in-law or uncle-in-law. No, no. You don't think about in-law. Yeah. You know, you just become family. That's my uncle. That's my that's aunt. That's, that's what they say. You know, not, not only did they accept her, but my family. Mm -hmm. My family as a whole. Mm -hmm. They just love them, and they just think they're just the best kids in the world. <laughs> yeah, the, the two families, mm -hmm. the two families, mm -hmm. they are just in harmony. Mm -hmm. And not trying to say we've forever been, um, you know, just straight out, absolutely Perfect. 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 That's the word I'm looking mm -hmm. for. Mm -hmm. But we never had any problems with the two families. Yes. They've uh -huh. always been there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We didn't have to separate with the, with the shotgun. No, we were the shotgun. We didn't have the headfields and the cords. Thank God, because some families do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What, uh, okay, what would we suggest maybe during this time where families are? Because, you know, we do know that all families don't just flow smoothly. Mm -hmm. So what might we suggest to families who are feuding like that? Who are not coming together? Right. Well, uh, you well, I would I would say that um, 
You know, you're going to have to learn to know people, number mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. And oftentimes, you have to take people as they are and love them oh. in spite of Ah, because mm. you're mm -hmm. going to find people that's not not on your your level. I mean, your keel, uh -huh. mm -hmm. not just like you want them to be. Mm -hmm. And talk things out. That's the big thing. You've got to talk. Uh -huh. if, if if you don't know what I'm thinking about you or what's bugging me, mm -hmm. how can you do anything about it? Mm -hmm. So you mean we don't assume? You don't. No. We assume. don't assume. You don't assume. <laughs> it's right. best that mm -hmm. you you just get together, mm -hmm. not not screaming and cursing right. across the room, mm -hmm. but let's just talk about this. Now, what mm -hmm. is it that we mm -hmm. can't get along? Right. Why? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, I encourage uh, families that are having difficulties is that they would go to the Word of God. Mm -hmm. That's number one. Yeah. That's number one. Mm -hmm. And and uh, as we know, whatever situation you have. In, you can go to the Bible be and it will, right, it will give you some directions. Mm -hmm. That's number one, mm -hmm. that, that we should do that. Mm -hmm. And then next, we follow those directions. Mm -hmm. And if we follow those directions, I mean, half of your problem is just solved wow. right, right, right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That, that, those would be my recommendations. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can, can I ask, that's a good point, but how do people get to the maturity level to get to the point that they know to look in the Bible and follow the Bible. It's one thing to read the Word. It's another thing to, you know, follow the Word. Well, I suppose you're just going to have to uh, give it time and grow. But, uh, but you know, in this day and age, the, the God's Word is all over the place. Mm -hmm. And it's plain enough that even children can understand mm -hmm. it. And you're going to have to want to do it. And until you come to that point where you want to be a child of God, then you're just going to be wandering out there looking for it. Yeah. Mm. Seek first the kingdom of God yes. and, and his righteousness mm -hmm. and all these other things will be added. Mm -hmm. And of course it takes studying to show yourself approved. Yes. You've got to study it, not just read it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Meditate on it. Pray. Yes. And it will work mm -hmm. for young people as well as old. Yes. Mm -hmm. And LaRonda also too, uh, to add to that answer or response to your question, mm -hmm. when a person gets tired of bumping their head up against the wall, when you get back into a That's corner true. and yes. there are no other That's options. Because yeah. you know, we have a tendency, we, <laughs> uh, yeah, we try A, B, mm -hmm. we try everything, everything but, yes. but God. God. Yes. And, and, and but right. ultimately, so okay, well, go on and try. Just try. <laughs> and you're going to find out that ultimately you have to come on back. Oh, that's true. You've got to come back. Yes, you, you got that's to. Right. That's true. I just have it set that's up true. that way. That's mm -hmm. So and we so. should can just continue to encourage in season, out of season, mm -hmm. over and over. Mm -hmm. See, I'm, I'm, I consider myself blessed in that area. Mm -hmm. Not all families have a doctorate, a person with a doctorate in theology <laughs> as a sister, yeah. mm -hmm. and a mother in a church, mm -hmm. and a deacon in a church. Mm -hmm. You know, my family is so religious mm -hmm. that in my situations, my daily situations, I know to fall back on the Word of God. Mm -hmm. But some families don't have that support, mm -hmm. that foundation. Though, those are the excuse me for cutting you off. Those yes. are the families that we are oh, praying for. Right. We we pray for yes. them <laughs> daily. I have a prayer partner, you know, and we have a uh, we also have prayer groups, and we pray for those families that they will know mm -hmm. that that the the guns, the knives, the drugs, the drinks, all of these will not solve their mm -hmm. problems. Mm -hmm. yes. That they're going to eventually have to come back to God, and. Um, and that's that's the only out, really. That's your only out. Come to God. You brought a good point up. In no matter what kind of good situation we are experiencing, whether we're talking about family mm -hmm. life now, mm -hmm. but you know, you may be well employed, you may live in a wonderful home, whatever whatever your your good situation, your good status mm -hmm. is. Reflect on the fact that there are other people who are not enjoying the, the, the level that you are in that particular situation, mm -hmm. yes. and and the very least we can do is to pray for That's those people right. and That's to embrace right. those people and to understand that everybody right. is not everybody's not happy in that particular area like no, you are. Yes. You know, mm -hmm. and, and when we cross our legs and begin to just 
think the world revolves That's around right. us, mm -hmm. then we're in trouble. Mm -hmm. right. But we can yes. never become so blessed that we forget to reach out and love mm -hmm. others. And mm -hmm. you yes. say, you know what? You can make it. You know what? It wasn't always like this for us. Because like you brought up, there were some valleys. And people need to know there were some valleys. And there wasn't, yeah, it's a mountain cup experience, but there have been some valleys. And and the, and the true test of whether or not if you can survive 50 years mm -hmm. is whether you can survive those valleys. Because right. the mountain, mm -hmm. anybody that's, can survive the mountain top. Good at the mountain. Mm -hmm. Everybody yeah. can yeah. Yeah. You, have, you, have you have no challenges on the mountain. Mm -hmm. But the question is, can you ri rise up from the ashes? Yes, yes. that's true. You know, yes, that's true. can Phoenix arise from the ashes? <laughs> mm -hmm. Now, 50 years of marriage, what other tips would you share with us? Uh, one of the... the uh, main item that I would like to share that in a marriage <coughs> a marriage is husband and wife and in most marriages the husband wants to dominate it's okay. all about me okay. that doesn't work okay. it's two of you okay. the marriage is the husband and the wife okay. the two of you communicating mm -hmm. And solving your problems. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now him feeling like he know every right. everything. Right. Mm -hmm. And I have, what, to, I have to. What, what I say, what it I say years mm -hmm. ago, uh -huh. it, it, that will not work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't work that way. <laughs> <laughs> it's husband uh -huh. and wife working side by side. Mm -hmm. Okay. Working side by Absolutely. side. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. With one on one accord. Okay. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. that's that's not easy, but through the word of God. It can be accomplished. Well, let me ask. Let me ask this: What if uh, the husband and wife have? Um, oh, they have a situation between them, a, 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 a challenge, and and they're at odds with each other. How how might one resolve that? Where else you disagreeing? Right. Well, number one, I, I would uh, suggest I recommend prayer, mm -hmm. and then after prayer, uh, there's there is counseling. Mm -hmm. In every church, there is a pastor or some organization that ministers to the couples with those problems. Mm -hmm. okay. Those are the avenues that I would recommend. Mm -hmm. Because we know when we take that marriage vow, uh -huh. it's until, until death yeah. do us part. Mm -hmm. And we do everything that's human and possible. Mm -hmm. And we know that it doesn't work all the time, mm -hmm. but we do everything that we can do humanly possible to make it work. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, what, what point would you have, Ms. Lane? <laughs> yeah, uh, I do agree with all of that that he said. Mm -hmm. And also, um, you know, we, we should learn to pick our battles. You know, uh, everything that come up in a marriage is not worth a squabble. Wow. Mm -hmm. We have mm -hmm. to be concerned about each other. Mm -hmm. And... Um, and no, well, that's okay if if he wants to do that. I'll, you know, I can go along with. I can live with it. Mm -hmm. But now, if it's something that's really, really important to me, then that's the time I come out with uh, with my battle. It's mm -hmm. my battle time mm -hmm. then. Mm -hmm. But um, he respects me as his his equal, mm -hmm. although the Bible says the husband is the head of the household. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. But. Um, I am his helpmate, uh -huh. and he allows me to mm -hmm. be that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it, it works very well. And please, if you're just starting out with marriage, remember, <laughs> it's not going to forever be that fire and, 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 mm -hmm. and, and those good looks. Uh -huh. you're <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're going to change. Uh -huh. yeah. So you need something between you that when the fire is gone and when the good looks these uh, good looks are gone and mm -hmm. you're on the cane or the walker mm -hmm. or bedridden. Mm -hmm. You've got to have a relationship there that will keep you together that you can say, this is the man God gave me. The, and we grew old together. Oh, it's wow. such a blessing. Oh, it's such a blessing. Mm -hmm. The husband of my youth. That's oh. what I call him all the time. Wow. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What would be your advice to a uh, single person design marriage? Uh, get yourself ready. That's number one. I, that's what I would say. Uh, s study the Bible. Get Go to God. Seek and pray. And be ready for when he puts that man in your life. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, you can't rush God. He's always on time. Mm -hmm. And he will bring it in the nick of time. You will know when to walk through that door. Mm -hmm. You will know. Miss okay. mm -hmm. uh -huh. Amos, what would be your advice uh, for that? Uh, I agree with what, what uh, 
my wife said, but we should <clears throat> we should communicate. Each family should communicate, and we should look at the history of her family mm. and the history. Mm. They will vice versa to the mm -hmm. bank. Mm -hmm. It's something that you shouldn't just step right into. Oh, no, you can't just jump and, into and, uh, it. You should actually get to know each other uh -huh. and then be prayerful about it. Okay. And and we know that before before uh, a pastor will marry you, then you, you're going to go and have uh, what's the word? Premarital counsel. And just be honest. Be honest with yourself. Mm -hmm. And you have to be open. Mm -hmm. <laughs> As they said, if you have skeletons, bring them out. All right, that's the time. Bring them out up front. Mm -hmm. That's the yes, time to uh -huh. do it. Bring them mm -hmm. out up front. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Don't let them meet the other person. Right, the person right. Put that's up true. Front. That's, that's right. right. <laughs> that's, that's true. true. Ah, that's get true. off it. Mm -hmm. That's true. We're down to the last couple of moments of the show. And so, uh, from your 50 years of marriage, who will be your final thought, Mr. Amos and Mrs. Amos, uh -huh. uh, mm -hmm. that you want to leave, leave with us and the audience? Your final thought. Well, I'm just thankful to God that he allowed us to have 50 years. And uh, as, as we stated on Sunday, if he wanted to give us another 50, then we would accept so it. Be it. <laughs> <laughs> so we know that's not possible. We just, we just, I just thank God for mm -hmm. keeping us mm -hmm. and keeping us with a reasonable portion of health mm -hmm. and strength. Yes. And we just we give God the glory. All right. And Mrs. Amos, what would be your final thought? Yes, thoughts? mine would be just about that same thing. I thank God for what he has done for us. Mm -hmm. And I... My prayer as a young woman was that we would live to see our children as adults, mm -hmm. and God has gone way beyond yeah. that. Mm -hmm. I've got my children, children grandchildren, and grand children. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So don't put God in a box in your life. Just pray for him and really, really trust in him. Mm -hmm. And God mm -hmm. bless. All right, wow. then. Well, uh, we are down to the last moment of the show. Yes. We just want to say to you, our audience, mm. uh, whether you're married, if you're married, hang on in there. There are going to be some valleys in your situation. Mm -hmm. Every every marriage who have uh, who is, which have come through 50 years and 60 years, 25 years, Christ. have all had valleys. Mm -hmm. So yes. hang in there through mm -hmm. the valleys and come on, rise back up to the mountaintop. For those who are single, hang in there. Prepare yourself. Start preparing yes. yourself mm -hmm. so you will have something to offer that person. We love you, and we just want you to know that more so God loves you. And again, to, until next time, it's been our pleasure being with you. We love you. Take care of yourself. And remember, it can be done. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Awesome. Amen. 50 Amen. years of marriage. 50 years of marriage. That's wonderful. 50 years of marriage.